Wow, parasitic drop, what a pain sometimes. But you know what, there's a great solution for that and that's coming right up. We're at the 2016 Vision Show in Kansas City, and I'm at the Electric Motion booth, and I got some really cool people with me today. Uh, this is Bryant Grossi, and he is an innovator. He actually developed something that you're just gonna love. And um, this is uh, Ali Haber, right? And I think I got it right. And uh, she actually uses this thing every day. So, uh, Bryant, uh, you, you in invented this thing. You developed it over time. Uh, but she really uses it, right? Yeah, yeah. So we uh, developed this tool uh, for parasitic drain testing and makes it very, very easy uh, to track down these difficult problems that are uh, so difficult to repair for uh, automotive technicians nowadays with all the uh, uh, innovations that are happening in the automotive world. Uh, a, a better tool is needed to track some of these things down. And uh, Ali has actually learned how to use this tool over the last several years and uh, she's become very proficient at it. And uh, she, I think she enjoys it very much because it makes her life uh, a lot easier, I would so, say. So now I'm wondering, why am I holding this thing? <laughs> First of all, tell us how this thing works, uh, how you use it, and uh, you know, I don't think we have to talk about it being relevant or not. It is. There are so many circuits today on vehicles that we can have parasitic draw, that can cause parasitic draw. How do you use this thing? Um, I hook it up in series in the, between the negative battery cable. Um, I operate the vehicle. I simulate anything that the customer would normally do. I operate DVD player, AC, anything that you know the customer would do on a, on a normal drive cycle. Uh, when I get out of the vehicle, I pull the key out. Um, I lock the doors, get out. Yeah, yeah, same thing. So it's try to simulate exactly the actions that the customer would take when they're parking the car. And right. then I like that she said take the car, the, the keys out of the car, because when you're disconnecting battery supplies and so forth, uh, you want to make sure that those keys are in your pocket before you lock the car, and you don't lock the car, the keys in the car when you're doing a drain test. That's right. Uh, so that's something that we always tease ourselves about, uh, making sure you do that, and possibly rolling a window down. Right. Yeah. Right. And at that point, very simply, um, you would go ahead and press power button and uh, start test. I yeah. can start the test. I can walk away. I can look at other cars, answer the phone, do whatever I do normally in the shop. Um, when I come back to it, it'll give me a pass or fail reading, and then from there, you know, I can determine if it has a drain or not. Uh, in the event it doesn't have the drain, I can look at other circuits as far as um, voltage drop problems, battery alternator problems, or I can, um, if it fails the test, I can go into the diagnostic screen, and at that point I can start removing power supplies to see what circuit the drain is on. Once I hit the circuit of concern, uh, it has an alarm on here that will um, actually allow me to hear uh, an audible I don't know if you can hear, you can hear it. So, and that has found yeah, the problem right so it if I remove a power problem. supply and I hear that I know hey this is an area of concern um, as a technician I go pull a diagram and I see what um, what circuits that fuse powers up and then I go from there uh, you still need to be a technician in order to resolve a drain, but um, you know this definitely helps me. It's a time saver and it's a game changer. Uh, it helps me become a better technician. I can isolate problems a lot quicker than I could with an ant eater. Yep, and, and you can tell by the noise behind us that we have some enthusiastic users. <laughs> they use this thing apparently. They know each other. And you know, this is really a great product. It's not only innovative, but incredibly relevant today. Uh, but I do have a question. Maybe you guys thought about this too. How long do you think it takes for this device to find the uh, elusive parasitic draw on average? It depends. Um, so basically, this will test up to three hours. Um, it will adapt to the vehicle that you have it on. It doesn't matter if it's a Mercedes, BMW, Chevy, uh, 94 Honda, it doesn't matter what it is. When people go to the airport or go to uh, leave the car for two weeks after they come from, from a trip, or even sometimes when you park your car at work in the morning and you come back in the evening after you get off work and the car doesn't start. And you had a new battery, you had the alternator tested, you had the 
and you're not sure, you didn't leave anything on, you looked at your headlights, headlights are not on, and you kind of don't know. So the, the test will adapt to the power curves of the vehicle and, uh, and then give you a very quick pass or fail result. And uh, then you know if the car has a parasitic drain or not, kind of a virus, if you will and uh, it aids you in the uh, diagnosing capability of right. locating it. One of the things that you need to be thinking about is what Brian just said. There is a power curve. Yeah. Um, a lot of the times we, we look at these things like, oh, it just can't be any more than like, you know, 500 milliamps or something like that. Yeah. As long as it's below that, we're good to go. Uh-uh, not all the time. That is why this device becomes so relevant and it will map, if you will, yes. those power curves and, and determine uh, exactly when this occurred and how serious it is, pass, fail, that type of thing. So we can go on and on and on, but here's what you need to do. In the metadata below, uh, there'll be the website. You can get a hold of these folks and you can get a hold of all the information you need. So if you're interested in having a really great way to find parasitic draws on automobiles today, you really need to check this thing out.